I'm making a homemade fire extinguisher and the supplies I have is two squares of toilet paper, um, a water bottle, and a lid that already has a hole in it. But if you don't have one like that, you can just drill a hole that's no bigger than a straw in a regular one. I also have one cup of water, some soap, and some baking soda. It wasn't there. It was over there. It's paused now or off. Okay. I'll leave that and then we'll Why is it still going? Because oh, you started. No. Yeah. Okay. So I have the toilet paper and I have the baking soda. So I'm going to put about one to two teaspoons or tablespoons on here. And you want to make sure there's not too much in the middle. And you want to full roll it up. And try not to let it go out of the ends. So you want to pick it up by the ends and fold it in half, but don't press it in half or you'll break the seam that's on the very end. So you kind of want to work it down. So you can press it together. And then you want to twist the end to a little bit of a point. So I've put the baking soda in the toilet paper. I've rolled it up and I've made the end as pointy as I can by twisting it. And I'm going to take the lid I'm going to try and put it, thread it through into the hole and make sure you hold on to it. And this is the way you're going to separate the baking soda from the vinegar, water, and soap. So you're going to wiggle this into here, be very gentle. And then you're slowly going to twist it on and make sure you're still holding on to that little part of toilet paper at the end. Okay, you're on. So I have my fire extinguisher, and there's my fire. It's not very big, but it'll still work. So I'm using a toothpick to push it down in there. I'm going to shake it. And there you go. Turn it off.